Hey everybody, it's all NASCAR 23. This next diecast review will be on Paul Menard's 2015 Pittsburgh Paints Menard's number 27 Chevy. And uh, this is one uh, really nice looking car. They, uh, Lionel chooses better and better and better uh, Paul Menard paint schemes to do every year. I just wish they didn't stick to one a year because, you know, there's so many good ones that they could make. But um, I'm, I'm sure they'll choose. They did a pretty good one last year, that Richmond Water Heaters, I think is what it was. And then uh, I'm sure they'll choose another good one next year, too, to do. But, um, you know, I wish they made more than one a year, because they're all, you know, most of them are really, really good. And uh, this is probably, you know, my favorite of all of the ones I've ever seen. And, uh, you know, because it's uh, the, the designs of them, the, the ones that Lionel chooses to do, just get uh, better and better every year. So, um, here, as we can see, it's mainly regular um, simple colors here. Your splitter is yellow. Move this down here, that way it'll focus. Oh, I almost had it. There we go. Good enough? Yeah. So you got a yellow splitter down bottom. Then the front bumper in the center is all yellow with your sort of blue uh, splots there on each side of the front bumper. Then the hood is uh, has a blue background with a dark blue uh, sort of splot of paint on it. And the whole rest of the car here is sort of just different splots of paint. One big giant splot of paint on the side, as you can see, sort of takes up, you know, start, start, ah, starts by uh, the beginning of the A-pillar here and uh, goes down right to sort of where the, uh, down towards the back tire and sort of fills up the rest of the car goes behind that Menards logo you see there above the rear tire and just sort of continues almost in a line, an uneven line obviously, uh, until it gets to the end. And then uh, at the top you see the same thing as the hood, sort of a dark, uh, like a blue background with a dark blue splot. Deck lid has a blue background. That's pretty much a paint scheme and the rest of the car is all yellow. So simple two colors, but I mean it, it's, it's still a complex, more complex paint scheme in a way. Uh, simple but complex at the same time, and uh, I, that, that's pretty unique about it. So now for the sponsors on this car, we got Menard on the windshield with the two Chevy logos. Pittsburgh Paints, Menard, number, uh, Chevrolet, Chevrolet XS, number 27, Richard Childress Racing. Here we got, I don't know what the top one is here on the B-pillar. I don't know what that top one is. I don't know what the second one is either, but then right there you got Champion Spark Plug, Sharon Williams down here, Quaker State, Richmond, Certainty, Sylvania, over here you got LG, down here, Serta, Lemon, Schrock, I think that one is, however you say that, Peak Motor Oil, I don't, I don't know how you say that one, I don't know how that one, how you actually say it. Then you've got uh, Nibco, if that's how you say it, Duracell, and a couple others there. you got American Ethanol, right here you got Okuma, Chevrolet, Menards, SS, SS number 27, Pittsburgh Paints on the deck lid, I think you say that kid, I would assume, on the, on the roof, and the right side is the same as the left, I think, right? It's all even. Yeah, no. Is it? Maybe not. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's close enough to the other side. So, uh, to rate this car now, I would probably give this car a 9 out of 10. I do like this paint scheme a lot. As I said, simple but complex at the same time. It has good colors, a, a good scheme to it. Uh, as I said, they get better and better every year. So a 9 out of 10, I say, for this car, because uh, I really do like it, and uh, it's probably, you know, and I got last year's too, which, uh, can I get it from here, let's see, or would it, no, I probably won't be able to reach it from there, but um, it's, I think it's better than last year's, and obviously better than the years before it, which, ha which weren't, you know, too exciting compared to this one, you know, they did, didn't have much of a design to them in, you know, previous years before last year. So uh, now for 360 view of this car here. We got the front, it's focusing on the back, there we go, 
left side, back, the right side, the hood, the top, and the bottom of the car. And as you see on the sponsor sheet in the background, um, lots of different sponsors obviously, associate sponsors on this car. One thing I noticed when I looked at the rendering, uh, the, the render of this car, the, the artwork for it, is if you notice up here you have, one of the things I noticed was you got peak motor oil and Quaker State on the car. I wonder how that works out if, if, if like, say peak motor oil was a primary sponsor I think already for Palmenard. Is Quaker State too happy about that? Or when Quaker State is the primary, is Peak upset? I wonder how that all works out. Because, um, it's kind of weird. It's, it's, it's like, what's, what's another good example? It's like, if, if you had, say, what's it, Duracell. If you had Duracell and Energizer on a car. Or, you know, Duracell Panasonic. It's something like that. Or like Home Depot and Lowe's on the same car almost. It's kind of controversial there, but um, I, kind of interesting though. It doesn't really affect this car anyway. Like I said, it's a good car. I do recommend it, and I uh, hope you get it if you haven't already, because this is one really nice one you do not want to let go, because uh, you do want to get this one for sure. So uh, that's about it now. Uh, my next review, last one for this set this week. This one right here, Dale Jr.'s 2015 Xfinity Series Goodies Fast Relief Camaro. Great looking car. And uh, so as always, it's on NASCAR 23. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.